I want to look sloppy and poor. Said no woman ever. In this video, I'm going to share usable, tangible tips to help you look like a million bucks on a budget. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. My mission to my channel is to make style simple, to give you those tangible tips that you need to really make an impact on your overall style. In this video, I'm gonna share those tips to help you look like a million bucks on a budget. We have a lot to get through in this video and I wanna just dive in. But before I do, I wanna say a huge thank you to Rakuten for sponsoring this video. Tip number one is to find a strategic investment piece. This requires spending a little bit of money and having a little bit of strategy behind the spend. Bear with me for a minute, okay? I would get and highly recommend getting one high-end designer belt and or a handbag. If you get a designer handbag or belt, those pieces not only can be worn every single day, but it doesn't matter what you're pairing them with, they will instantly elevate your outfit. Let's take a look at a before and after to really drive this point home. Here is a basic outfit. All in this outfit is around $100. Let's take this really affordable look and elevate it, make it look more expensive, make it look more luxury by adding a designer piece. In this example, I'm adding an Hermes reversible belt to the jeans. It's one piece, very simple, a great investment piece, and it totally takes the whole look up a notch. So you could do a logo belt like this, but you don't have to do a logo belt, just something that's a higher quality piece that will definitely elevate your look. Another example might be a handbag. So here's an example of me carrying a Chanel boy bag. It's the small size, and this definitely brings everything whoop up. Just picking a high quality handbag that you know looks luxurious, that will take everything else you're wearing and elevate that. So how can I get that investment piece on a budget? You look at those sites, you look at those flash sale websites, you look at the consignment stores, you look and go in the vintage shops. Another option I wanted to share with you along the same lines of the flash sale websites that is worth mentioning because it is so crazy good and so simple to use is Rakuten.com, formerly known as Ebates. So they rebranded as Rakuten. If you want to earn cash back on your purchases, you're not doing anything extra, you sign up for this website. Let me walk you through how to do the sign up. Basically, you're going to sign up by using one of your accounts, could be Google, Apple, Facebook. Then you just shop normally. Type in the search box one of your favorite retailers. Maybe it's Macy's. So we take a look at Macy's, type it in the search box, it pops up, we can see what the cash back percentage is, then it redirects us to macy's.com, we start shopping, we earn money back. Say you're gonna pick up some beauty products at Sephora, type Sephora into the search box, you see you get 4% cash back at Sephora, you buy your Sephora products, you buy your like It Cosmetics CC cream and your other beauty favorites at Sephora, and then you earn cash back. Check all of your favorite retailers because they most likely are on Rakuten's site. They have over 2,500 retailers, including like Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom Rack, Macy's, Target, Express, Banana Republic, all the stores that you love to shop at anyway. And then it just redirects you to their site. You buy the pieces you're gonna buy anyway. And then for doing absolutely nothing except shopping through their site, you make money. It's kind of a no-brainer. It's really awesome. It's an easy, simple way to make a little money on your purchases. Again, let me know if you have any questions about Rakuten and how to, how to do it. Pretty straightforward, but in case you have any issues, just let me know in the comments below. And again, thank you to Rakuten for sponsoring this video. Let's talk about tip number two. Tip number two is wearing rich colors. There are definitely tones that look more luxe than others. And we've talked about in other videos, which by the way, if you miss them, you should go back and watch my other look expensive videos because those are also full of awesome tips. If you want more shopping tips, by the way, I did a whole video about shopping like a pro, which I'll put a link to that below as well. That video too, one of my favorites, I literally shop for a living. <laughs> you can pick up on all my great shopping tips. Rich colors, what are they? They're different for different seasons, right? Always monochromatic is a lot more luxurious, elongating, slimming, and all of that. So wearing one color palette from head to toe is very luxe looking. 
Could be anything from all white to all beige, all camel, all navy, all black, all, you know, any color head to toe, all blush tones. I talk a lot about in my other videos about mixing tones, tonality. You don't always have to go with like, ooh, this bright white has to match this bright white. Like mix it up. It's fine. Let me show you an example of how color can add a luxe look and feel. Let's take these plain basics. We've got a a basic white shell with a pair of dark wash skinny jeans. These are from Express and a pair of Jeffrey Campbell brown ankle booties. So those are all pretty basic. Now, if I add a beautiful cognac faux fur jacket, all of a sudden, this whole outfit is more thoughtful. It's more luxurious. It's more expensive looking. It's more dynamic, impactful. All the things that you want. And it part of it is the color and part of it is the texture. And I'll talk a little bit more about texture in a minute. It's almost better to wear these softer, brown beige colors versus the harsh blacks. We know black is luxe and chic and sophisticated, but it can be really luxe and sophisticated also to wear browns. And that can be a little softer on the skin. You know, cognac, camel, chocolate brown. Like here's an example of a chocolate brown Veronica Beard leather blazer. It's an amazing piece, but you pair that with any basics and all of a sudden your outfit is incredible. It goes from just like meh to wow with one piece. That'd be a cool investment piece too. You know, with spring, you wanna think more about like blush tones, white tones, ivories, beiges, taupes, grays. Those are the colors that are really luxe looking for spring. For fall, again, I go with those honey browns, cognac brown, beiges, taupes deep brown burgundy. Here's an example of a gorgeous burgundy faux fur. And let's see the before and the after. You've got the, the real plain basics again. They're just like, yeah, they're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. But then you add that burgundy faux fur jacket and all of a sudden your outfit is amazing. And that's what we wanna do. We wanna add that pop, we wanna add that impact. But we also wanna make sure it's strategic. It's not just a look at me for the look at me sake. It is a luxurious, thoughtful, sophisticated piece that matches your age, that matches how you feel on the inside, that matches the job you wanna have and the lifestyle you wanna have. You don't have to spend a ton to look amazing. Let's talk about textures. Textures also add that element of luxury and expensiveness to your look. So I just showed you two faux fur examples. Look at the basics, the basic look. You add that faux fur, lots of texture, lots of rich color and your outfit looks incredible. You can do the same thing with leather. I talked about that Veronica Beard leather blazer. Leather will add some really amazing texture. You could do a chunky neck cardigan. You could do a croc embossed jacket. You could do a faux fur. You could do a suede jacket. Suede and leather, again, great textures. Play around with texture and think about adding texture to your looks. This is especially fun <laughs> and great to do during the fall season because you can add those jackets and coats. Let's take a look at an example of adding some leather. So let's go back to our basics, just the, the white shell. And then I add a BB Dakota faux leather gray jacket. This one, very affordable by the way. Again, just very impactful, adds a lot, pulls it all together, adds more polish, adds more sophistication. I look chicer, I look more luxurious. Tip number four is to add accessories. Not just any accessories, not too many accessories, thoughtful, strategic accessories. And I'm gonna show you a few that add the most impact. Let's take a look at, again, those same basics. Now let's add a rag and bone wool hat to it. Wow. Remember, I've talked about the hat effect before. The hat adds so much to your outfit and makes you look so much more stylish, and in this case, makes you look so much more luxe as well. Another option, sunglasses. Sunglasses, just that one simple piece, that one simple accessory, definitely adds so much impact. It adds mystery, it hides your age, it hides if you're wearing no makeup, but it can hide a lot, it hides wrinkles under your eyes, it hides your crow's feet. Sunglasses definitely add so much pop, and you know, here's where you could invest a bit more money if you wanted to, but you definitely don't have to. In this example, I'm wearing some Saint Laurent sunglasses, and they are definitely on the pricier side, but I've showed you guys before a lot of like key sunglasses or other like list specs, other sunglasses that look very much like designer sunglasses, but for a fraction of the price. And then don't forget about jewelry, you know, because jewelry, not only can it look dated, 
It can also look cheapy, cheapo, inexpensive, not luxurious. So making sure that you pick strategic pieces that are modern, but also look luxe. I would say default to things that are more classic with your jewelry. One key piece for your accessories. Here's an example of a Dean Davidson necklace I got recently. It's a paperclip necklace. I can make it any length I want. It's very beautiful. It's very luxurious looking, but it also has a simplicity and an elegance about it. You don't want to go over the top because the more over the top you go with your accessory, the harder it's going to be to wear every day. Before I move on to the next tip, I just wanted to show you guys this this necklace, a woman that I don't know messaged me on Instagram and said she was creating necklaces out of buttons. This is a Chanel button on a chain. It looks like the $2,100 vintage Chanel logo necklace, but it's actually a button on a chain. Here's another way to give yourself that little pop of luxury without breaking the bank. And I will put a link to her website below if you're interested in buying one of the button necklaces. Tip number five is basics win every time. If you're choosing between trendy and basic looks, always go with the basic look. I love trendy pieces. I wear trendy pieces all the time, but if that's my number one goal, I'm gonna go with basics. I'm gonna go with more classic pieces. So let me show you an example side by side. So here's an example of a really trendy outfit. I'm wearing the same shell that I showed you before, the white shell, with a pair of A. Goldie baggy distressed jeans. On my feet, some wedge camo sneakers by Linnea Paolo. And then I have on a cargo jacket this one is from JCPenney, bought it a while ago. It's from ANA. And then some flat top sunglasses that look very much like Celine. This is the super trendy look. Would I wear this? Probably, I probably would. But if my goal is to look as luxe as possible, as sophisticated as possible, I'm not gonna wear this outfit. Here is the after. This is the outfit I would wear for sure if my goal, again, is to look more luxe. It is dark wash skinny jeans, the same white sleeveless shell. I'm wearing an express double breasted blazer. This one is in black. It's very similar to one I've showed you guys by Veronica Beard. It's also very similar to the Bellman jacket blazer that is $2,200. So it's a really affordable but luxurious looking piece. So that combined with these other basics in my opinion, looks so much more elegant and sophisticated than the trendy look that I just showed you. So here they are side by side, you judge for yourself. I'm guessing that you can see the difference here and why the basics are always the way to go. By the way, if you don't know what your basics are, you're still like, hmm, I'm not sure if I have them or not. I give away free checklists when you sign up for my newsletter. So you do that with your email and then I send those basics checklists to your email inbox for free. So make sure you sign up for the newsletter so you get those basics checklists. Very key to making your wardrobe function properly. Okay, for the next tip, I wanna expand on the basics talk just a little bit. So it is really important to have those great everyday basics that I talk about and that you can get your checklist to make sure, okay, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. But then once you have those, you may wanna consider peppering in some elevated basics or more modern basics. Let me give you an example of like a simple everyday basic and then an elevated basic so you understand what I'm talking about. Let's take this example here. It's by a line called The Shirt. I think it's Rochelle for The Shirt or something like that. Sorry if I'm getting that wrong, <laughs> but it's a really cool white button down shirt. I like this shirt a lot because it does have multiple buttons at the bust. So if you have that gaping problem, it really does solve that issue. But it's a real tried and true basic. There's not a lot of details here other than the buttons, making it unique, special, different. Now, if I take another white button down shirt, this one is by Billy the Label. It's from a website called Verishop. It's another one that's on Rakuten's site, by the way. So if you shop through Rakuten, you're gonna earn cash back for Verishop. This shirt, so cool by Billy the Label. What makes it interesting, what makes it elevated, up-level, different, more luxe, is the details. So look at the collar. This is not your traditional button-down or button-up collar collar. It is a pop collar. On top of that, the shirt has a little puff shoulder. It's not a dramatic puff shoulder like this one that I'm wearing right now by Eero, but it definitely has this little pop or puff at the shoulder. So those two details, as you can see side by side, like let's take a look at the basic one and then let's take a look at the elevated one. Those details do make a difference. 
they do add more pop. They add a modern quality to the look. Here's another example. I wanna show you this is kind of a basic knit black blazer by White House Black Market. Nothing wrong with it, it's great. Now I wanna show you an example by Kobe Halperin, I believe is how you say the brand, with a puff shoulder. You see the difference here? There's that one detail, the puff shoulder again, on the blazer that makes it a little extra special and luxurious, because that's the goal, right? If you're watching this video, I am making the assumption that that is your goal, is you wanna look more expensive. These are the little things that you can do that make all the difference when it comes to having that impact on your look and making it look leveled up. Speaking of those little details, let's talk about style secrets. And by style secrets, I mean all these little tweaks that you can make to style the pieces you are wearing a little differently. Again, small change, big, big, big impact. If you did not see my 20 style tips in under 20 minutes video, that is an absolute must watch. It is such a great video. I share all of my favorite styling tricks and tips in that video in under 20 minutes. I'll put a link to it below. When you take something, like let's go back to that white button down shirt, dark wash skinny jeans, booties, when you take an outfit like this, this basic, and you employ those simple style tips and tricks, it can totally change the way the outfit looks. It looks more thoughtful. It looks more deliberate. It looks more polished. Let's take this look. Let's roll up the sleeves. We're gonna do that J Crew cuff with the sleeve or military cuff. You just cuff one big long cuff, then you cuff it again, and then you fold over the ends of the shirt. I'm not gonna go through how to do this cuff in detail. I've done it in other videos. So again, go and watch that other video where I demonstrate how to do that exactly. Cuff the shirt. I unbutton the shirt a little bit. I open it up a little bit. Show off some more of the necklace. Make sure that the neckline is more open. I tuck in the shirt. Now, whether you do a full tuck, a French tuck, half tuck, not it, up to you. In this case, I just really felt like doing a full tuck. And then the last little thing that I did was I rolled the jeans up one cuff. I did one single cuff with the skinny jeans above the ankle booties. Again, it's just a small detail that looks like I thoughtfully put this outfit together. I've done two videos on how to wear ankle boots with skinny jeans, so if you're not sure, this is a good time to go and do a refresher because here we are in ankle booty season. I will put links to those videos as well. Let's take a look at the before and the after. So here is that white button down skinny jean look with no styling tips or tricks. Here's the after with the cuff sleeve, tuck shirt, open neckline, rolled up jean. It looks a lot more deliberate, thoughtful, stylish, and chic. Tip number eight is something I would consider almost like next level in the style department. It can be really tempting when you wanna feel like very sophisticated and luxe looking to be very buttoned up. We're gonna, we're gonna bust out the black blazer, we're gonna do the white button up or button down, we're gonna do the black pants, we're gonna do the black heels, and voila, we look very expensive. Trey Cher. You don't always have to go that route. Yes, that is a very polished look. Yes, it's great for an office setting or a power meeting or a power presentation, but you can look just as luxurious and sometimes even cooler if you wanna go for more of that like it girl, cool girl status by throwing in some casual pieces. So let's take that buttoned up look and let's add, instead of those black suiting pants, let's do a pair of dark wash skinny jeans. Same, totally same outfit. Just throw in the skinny jeans instead of the black pants. What happens? Well, I'll tell you what happens. You still look really expensive, but you look sexier, you look edgier, you look more modern, and you look more youthful. Think about ways that you can maybe incorporate some more casual pieces into and mixed with your dressier pieces to really create cool, edgy, modern, youthful, and luxe looking outfits. The next tip is the tells. What to avoid when you wanna keep your outfit looking luxurious and not looking cheap or inexpensive. There are a few things that expensive clothing does really well. And when you buy something that is more affordable, more budget friendly, more inexpensive, it's really hard to cheat it or fake it. Generally speaking, hardware, 
okay? Hardware is really difficult. If you're buying a mid-range handbag, for example, look for one with minimal hardware, and that's going to look more luxurious than something with tons of hardware. Same with a jacket. If you're going for a moto, look for something with minimal hardware. Not a lot of zippers, not a lot of buttons or snaps. Also exposed seams, those tend to look more inexpensive. You could also look at elevating buttons. Let's take these two jackets as an example. Here's the Express Blazer. Here's the Veronica Beer Blazer. Both are terrific, both look great. And actually here's an example of how even inexpensive buttons, if they make the right strategic purchase, can look very luxurious. If you wanted to elevate the jacket even more, you could swap out the buttons. So when I touch these, I can feel like they're plastic, they're a lot cheaper, feeling than these buttons, which are, they have more heft and weight to them. They're actual metal buttons. This has plastic buttons. This has metal buttons. Could be a really easy swap to just order some buttons on Etsy and swap them out on your favorite jacket to make it look more luxurious. Thinking about those details, again, if you're not spending a lot of money on a piece, avoid a lot of hardware, a lot of zippers, snaps, buttons. Avoid those exposed seams and also think about swapping out buttons to make something look more luxurious luxurious. A few other things I want to mention that kind of go without saying, but I don't like to assume anything. When you tailor garments, they're going to look more couture, like they were made for you. They're going to look more tailored for you. They're going to make them look more elevated and luxurious. Tailoring your garments, steaming or ironing your garments, that's a tough one for me because I really don't like to iron at all. I just use a handheld steamer. This is the one I like by Conair. I've tried professional steamers before, but they take up way too much space and I end up not using them. I use this one instead. Something like like this, just in a pinch that you could steam your garments. Making sure that you have good posture, that your, your shoulders are back and your chest is out, that's gonna make an impact on your clothing, making sure you have the right undergarments when you're wearing your clothing so everything is where it's supposed to be no show panties, you know, bras that support and lift all of those undergarments that really do make a big impact. Those seemingly small details that definitely make a huge impact. And the last thing that I've talked about a lot, but it's definitely something that's worth repeating is confidence. It's your best asset. It's your best accessory confidence. If you are confident in what you're wearing, you can literally wear anything and look amazing. So just remember that if you're not feeling quite right in something, it might take a little more time or a little more getting used to, maybe change, maybe try something else because you really want to walk out that door feeling like, you know what? I am rocking this. I feel amazing. And no matter what life throws me that day, I have got this. That's what I would call like your power outfit. As always, I offer styling tips and suggestions, but really it's up to you. It's up to what you feel fits and flatters your body, what you feel is most comfortable for you, what you feel the most confident and comfortable wearing, thinking about that. And also remembering to always shop your own closet because we don't need to go out and spend a fortune on new clothes, thinking about how we can strategically up level those things we already have. So maybe you have that blazer in your closet that just could use those fresh buttons, or maybe you have a leather strap and you could buy like a designer belt buckle to add with that. Thinking about innovative, clever ways that you can really level up your wardrobe, but it isn't going to break the bank. We want to look luxe on a budget. So let's do a recap. Do get an investment piece that you can wear every single day to elevate your outfit. Do look for rich, luxe looking colors for both fall and spring. Do add texture like faux fur, suede, leather. Remember that basics will look more luxurious than trendy. Look for elevated basics and that one unique special detail that will take that piece that is an everyday piece and make it a little more unique, interesting, and special. Don't forget about all of those little tweaks that you can make to your outfit, those style secrets that make such a big impact. Also, do mix casual pieces with your dressy pieces to really create a sexy, youthful, modern look. And lastly, don't forget about the tells. When you're buying inexpensive pieces, go for darker colors, go for minimal hardware, not a lot of zippers, not a lot of snaps, not a lot of buttons, and 
definitely elevate those buttons if that's an option that makes sense for you. If you want some elevated everyday outfit ideas for the 40 plus woman, I'm 46, you can follow me over on Instagram at Busby Style. I am posting pretty much every day, just everyday outfits, again, casual and dressy, both. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you hit that button. Maybe share my channel with one of your friends or your friend group or your Facebook group. I'd really appreciate that as well. Spread the word about Busby Style. That would really mean a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're incredible, amazing women. I'm so lucky to have you as part of my community. Thank you again to Rakuten for sponsoring this video. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.